Now let's make adjustments for this uh, MBO indicator. I'm going to the MBO on, click on this menu MBO on and select settings. This is the quick settings for MBO. So there's a two way to adjust it. One is going our uh, traditional way, going to indicators and selecting indicator properties in the through the indicators menu, or we can go through the quick menu, MBO on, settings and we will get this window the first uh, piece of information it is the totals the section 02 totals so the totals is this is uh, the total column and we're gonna play with this so the font size is currently 12 i would like to for the purpose of demonstration to others i like to make it uh, 14. Uh, it is actually good then the, there's a vertical distance on between the uh, lines is one pixel. Right margin is zero, so there's a no right margin to the right of these total columns. Okay, so in the opacity, let's change the to uh, 100. And when I enter it a new configuration i click on the margin on the left side and it's instantly implements it if i make this opacity let's say 20 uh, i don't want to see it too much visit to to have it visibly too much sticking out i can make this opacity um, even less and the less opacity the more it is transparent on the background so now it's kind of like a quiet color or you can make it more vivid and make it a hundred percent it's not transparent uh, at all and this is a, a ask and beat color ask is on the upper and a beat on the bottom and we can select this um the way we want it to from the spectrum that needs it provided to us so now it's a dark red and it's dark green okay now bead and ask text colors um, obviously right now it is white and it's kind of like the way I wanted to or you can make it um, a different uh, color you can do it like transparent it will be invisible or you can make it uh, a gray or a black whatever you wanted to on this total what we actually seeing we seeing the V75 C21 or we can see like okay V and this is a close to the price and it's jumping v24 and c19 what is that means v mean volumes there's a 24 volumes on this price line or oh, let's go over here uh, v81 it is 81 total volume on this price line some of these um orders are invisible and we make them invisible by filtering them out and you see the background behind this price line so they uh, they are not there but if you make them visible then you will see uh, and calculate the sum of this volume will be 80 81 currently and c v stands stands for the volume and c it is the for count counter counts okay it is 19. so this is the 50 it is the one contract then there's a what seven and there's a four it is another contract for seven and for four it is the count c means count v means volume let's select the orders now this is the font that we're using on the orders uh let's make it bold i would like to make it bold font size is 12 18 now the histogram width is so let's put it 500 to execute it i click on the margin the left side or anywhere on the chart because there's no uh apply button here so we see, did you see that there is a dynamic histogram with a scaling the type or mode is scaling dynamic now what if we switch it to the static it will be a very different now the difference between the static and the dynamic is explained it in our manual step-by-step -step manual for the mbo indicator but basically with the dynamic depending on the largest uh, total volume on the screen when it's go higher then the whole uh, histogram needs to be recalculated recalculated the width or length of this um, internal 
orders and there will be a lar- uh, longer or shorter. I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to make it static and it's more pleasant for me because now the all orders inside of the histogram are taking the same length. Like tw- this 25 will always stay 25 and not deviate uh, or not fluctuate uh, longer or shorter. This 25 or let's say this 20 will stay the same or this 40. The only... Uh, orders that will fluctuate it is those that are sticking out like this 250 so um, if you take this formula and um, you tie it those numbers together static scaling max volume this is the max volume and this is the maximum volume that's what gonna take 80 pixels approximately but it will be taking out uh, on the left. So those maximum value, this crazy abnormal volumes that I color it in a special color here and here above and below, then they will project themselves way on the left. But usually those um, insanely large maximum volumes orders, they will be above or below. Rarely they will be close to the where the price line should be right over here. I like it more in a static way because in a static way it's easy to keep you attention on a particular order and how this order moved to the right or how this order moves to the right. Play with this and you will see the different uh, mode, uh, static or dynamic, and y- y- you decide in a in a what situation you will choose the static or dynamic mode. This is a very advanced feature that is not uh, available on uh, any other MBO uh, indicators. This is a unique feature, and it really helps. It really helps visually track the certain or- orders while you trading, so you I kind of easy remember where this order is and what line and how long this um, particular order is sitting or this order because it's not going to fluctuate in length. Show orders background. If we take this off, you say there's a no background behind those orders on the price line or there's a no um, background there. So if you would like to, sometimes, yeah, it may help you to make some uh, space transparent and you can make visible only certain amount of orders that um, will be sticking out more clearly. Background vertical distance, it is um, distance between this price line and the next price line. There's a one pixel. Okay, minimum display volume. Right now, the minimum display volume is two. You can see the ones, right? So let's make it uh, one. And if I apply the one, now you're seeing there's like, oh, there's more orders. Okay, but they're so small, they are not really fitting, you don't see it well. You're seeing every uh, order above one. If I put here minimum display volume, let's say five, then it will filter out uh, order orders with one, two, three, four. It, it's going to make like more sense for me, easier to see, less information. Uh, I'm going to put it even 10. You can tune it up to the, depending on the volatility, depending depending on the session, uh, I'm going to make it uh, back to five and minimum color volume. What is the minimum color volume? It is the volume that starts. Let's say there is a five and when I see the five, here's the five, right? Here's the five or here is the five very close to the price line. And you see the color of that will be corresponding on each side, ask and bid side. And minimum volume, it's the spectrum of the color that it starts from the volume when the volume is five, or uh, that is the colors, minimum volume color that corresponds is red. It's simply red, right? We can make it so the minimum color will be darker and we can make it dark red. Let's say maroon. Okay, let's apply it. So it's kind of darker. It is darker. Or we can add our own color. Click twice over here until the cursor starts blinking. And then uh, number, capital F, F, zero. 
A0A. Press on enter. So it's going to keep it or press it somewhere like over here. And um, it's going to go to the maximum volume color. And the maximum color is 40. If I define the 40 volume, 40 is the maximum. So it's going to be bright red. And all other between the uh, 5 and 40 will be in a spectrum be between these two. Okay, if I would like to make it like, I don't know, uh, some crazy, instead of the red, I'm going to put uh, something like uh, Indian red, right? Boom. Now you see the colors are changed out there and they will swing from this dark um, red to the Indian red. What? I'm going to change it to red. Boom. Simple like that. So with the color range, we can see... Uh, when the volume is progressing, we see it is reflected in more brighter color that goes to this color. There is another filter, display volume, minimum display is 5. It starts displaying 5 and hides all below the 5s. Um, you don't see 4, you don't see 3, you don't see 2, you don't see 1. Now, minimum color volume, this is the when when it starts because we started from the 5, then we need to put the 5 over here, not the 2, because 2 is um, outside. Maximum color volume. This is the maximum color volume. It's, it is the maximum in the spectrum from 5 to 40. Now, filter volume is, uh, we can filter extra um, large or abnormal. Filter volume is a special filter that highlights let me put it 50 and you're going to see the difference. If I'm going to put 50 for this filter volume, so we're filtering in every order that is above 50. This is above 50, this is above 50, and let's go over there. This is 150, 250, this is above 50. Okay, all of the orders above 50, that's what we put right here, will be colored with a filter volume color. So filter volume color correspond to the filter volume, 50 to the magenta. I'm going to do it like 75, at least four right now. Volatility is a little bit low. We are before the closing session on the New York. Now, uh, stack dis uh, displayed orders. This is an interesting feature. And just to like, um, let's make it uh, dramatically large. If I uh, select the static display orders, you see the difference. You see the difference? If you stack it, then uh, they all go to the right. And those small order is no longer visible. You see this um, four, three, four, three, ones. They occupy this uh, space, for example. You see what's going to happen with this space when I click on static uh, on check mark. They just like, boom, evaporates. I don't even keep them in my observation any longer. But the total, you see, the total is now still keep the same size, or this one is total still keep the same size. But my attention is no longer on the one, two, three, four, um, only on the fives and above. And those orders that are significant for me now, one after another. So I know in a what queue they are, although between those orders, there can be a smaller order. Like, keep your eye on this price line, and I'm going to uncheck it. And now you see actual position of the each order in line on the queue, on the queue for execution. In uh, stack display orders unchecked, you see the exact position. You see spaces or other orders in between the 10 and 8, between 8 and 10, and between 10 and 7. You see there is other orders sitting there. To stack them or not to stack them? To stack them means uh, get rid of the all in between, uh, less significant orders. That is below the 5. So with unmarking the stack display position, the stack displays orders. This is how I do it. Okay, I uncheck this option. So basically, on the ask and the bead, you see the coloring, the way you would like to coloring each side, and you can fine-tune it. But the orders, um, this is the section three orders, is the main order, uh, main uh, section where you control 
volumes. On the section two, it is the total. On the section three, it is the volumes. We, we can play with a histogram width and the mode of the histogram. And um, the scaling corresponds to the histogram width as well. This is it. It's not really complicated. It's pretty simple. Now, after you uh, tune it up the way you want it to, you can simply click um, on cross on to close it. And you see now, this is a still green on the upper menu. It means the MBO is still running on the chart. Now, but when I do any changes somewhere over here in configuration, and go to the properties of that indicator, and I change anything over here, and I click apply, you see what happens, then the MBO no longer on the chart. So if I make any changes, and I click uh, apply, if I add indicators or make changes in any indicators, not on the MBO, but MBO is supposed to run on my chart at the same time, MBO will turn off. So you need to reconnect MBO. This is how it works. You simply don't forget to reconnect the MBO. When you do any changes and you say, oh, it's no longer on the chart, just to go to the MBO menu, upper menu, uh, quick menu, and um, you click uh, to uh, connect. This is now is disconnected, but usually if it's not connected, it will be a connect MBO. So now when it's green, it is connected. When it's white, it's not connected. Now, there's a one particular issue. By some reason, the platform itself can be disconnected. Over here, you will see the in the logs, you will see it's disconnected on one of those lines. You click to reconnect this connection again. And you can get a step-by-step -step manual for MBO indicator from our website, bestorderflow.com, or go to our Telegram or Discord community. Get this manual for yourself where you see more explanation what MBO is, and you will see how to tune the MBO indicator to your advantage for your trading.